Isaiah 26.3. Isaiah 26.3. What does the Bible tell us? You will keep in perfect peace him whose mind is steadfast because he trusts in you. So, you will keep him in perfect peace. You will keep in perfect peace him whose mind is steadfast because he trusts in you. So, the mind that is stayed on the Lord. Uh, older translations put it this way, thou will keep him in perfect peace him whose mind is stayed on thee. Okay. That's that's how the verse goes in King James Version. Okay, stayed on the the picture is that of a ship. No. Unlike a car, a car you stop a car. What do you normally do? You pull the handbrake up and walk out. Okay. Next day when you come, you expect to see the car in the same place. Right? With a ship. You can't just stop the ship and expect to see the ship in the same place the next day. The ship will drift. Okay. So, what do they do? They will put several anchors. Okay. So, this is the picture that we have over here. A man who has put his anchor in the Lord. Thou will keep him in perfect peace in whose mind is stayed on thee. His mind has put anchors in the Lord. He will not drift from peace. He will not drift from peace. Okay? So, uh, people feel troubled in their minds. People feel disturbed in their hearts. Okay? Uh, people feel depressed. Very often because their focus is not on the Lord. Their mind is not stayed on the Lord. Cain, what was he looking at? His brother who was being accepted and appreciated. Okay? Hannah, what was she looking at? Her own childlessness. Hmm? Uh, uh, this one... Uh, uh, What is his name? Saul, what was he looking at? The fact that people are not appreciating him. Okay? Uh, Ahab, I want this, I am not getting it. Their mind is not on Christ at all. Their mind is on something else. Hmm? So when we say 40% of today's youth okay, are depressed, hmm? then that is where it is. That is where that Depression primarily comes from. Okay. That doesn't mean people of God will not be depressed. Hmm? There is another person who, uh, like, see, some weeks back we talked about suicide related to demon possession. Okay. Elijah does not commit suicide, but he has a death wish. Okay. Take my life. I don't want to live any longer. A Christian may not go and kill himself. But his in depression he may actually have lost the motivation to live on. Okay? This is it. I'm done. I'm finished. There's another person who uh, actually commits suicide. There's no uh, mention of demon possession over here. His name is Ahitophel. You remember? Huh? Okay. Ahitophel, Ushai. Okay. Two people. Hmm? Uh, they were King David's advisors. Okay. So when he gives the advice, people used to take it as word of God. He was such a wise man. Then he gives advice. But people don't take his advice. He is very depressed. Okay. Do people feel upset when their suggestion is not taken into account? Yes. 
even in a church sometimes uh, i offer a suggestion nobody is taking that suggestion i feel upset okay basic situation is what we read here in isaiah a mind that is not stayed on the lord is a mind that is open to depression okay my mind should be stayed on the lord then it will not stray from the harbor of peace which god gives okay then turn with me to philippians chapter 4 Philippians chapter four. Then <clears throat> there is a series of uh, verses. Begins with verse four. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Hmm? this is another way of expressing isaiah chapter 26 and verse 3 a mind that is stayed on the lord rejoice in the lord always meaning there may be things which make you happy there may be things which you are not happy about but you rejoice in the lord anyway okay rejoice in the lord always okay then verse 6 do not be anxious about anything hmm? but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your request to god okay and then verse 7 the peace of god which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in christ jesus see this is this is a tool that we have as god's children hmm? what is the tool that we have hmm? do not be anxious about anything okay when something happens hmm? don't be overcome with anxiety hmm? but instead what should i do in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your request to god and hmm? the peace of god which transcends all understanding okay meaning the peace of god which the human mind cannot give an explanation for which the human mind cannot understand will guard your hearts and minds in christ jesus okay then verse 8 finally brothers whatever is true whatever is noble whatever is right whatever is pure whatever is lovely whatever is admirable if anything is excellent or praiseworthy think about these things okay so in in a most depressed situation there is always something beautiful to think about okay there is always something beautiful to think about no so God wants us to think about what verse eight tells us: whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, these are the things our mind should focus on. Okay, when I take my like, if Cain was not looking at what was disturbing him, but if he had taken his mind and put it on something positive okay that is that is what this verse is actually saying no? keep your mind on something which is good and pleasant and beautiful and pure okay don't so all these guys who went down under in depression god wants us to take our minds under control and place it on god place it on that which is beautiful and nice even in this world okay that is god's remedy for for a mind which is having trouble hmm? will christians have depression yes 
in the case of jesus why was jesus depressed at the thought of what lay ahead hmm? the next few hours were going to be horrible okay horrible was the torture that he will experience more horrible will be the father turning his face away hmm? all that was going to come the very thought of what lay ahead caused him to be depressed okay and the fact that he turned to his disciples in his time of need hmm, tells us the other remedy which god has provided friends family church okay a healthy relationship with people is god's antidote and remedy for depression right let's pray father we often fail to avail of what provision you have made for us and and go and experience depression and depressed we end up doing what we should not do and we pray that you will give grace to us to find deliverance in you father pray that you will enable us to keep our mind stayed on you to cast all our anxieties on you and to focus on that which is beautiful and noble and pure and true we pray that each one of us will cultivate a set of healthy relationships which will enable us to find remedy for us for